Hello everybody and welcome back to Low Bricks. Today we are going to be building our Tatooine mock once again. And we're actually going to be focusing on Jabba's Palace. I know we've been doing a lot of Jabba's Palace builds. It's been fun. We've been trying our best. But we got to finish out the Rancor Pit. Which means, once again, we're actually not going to be building on Jabba's Palace whatsoever this video. I know that time will come. Don't worry. It's not, we're we're going to focus on it. But what we actually are going to be taking a look at today is the Rancor Pit, which is right here. As you know, last episode, we built out all these walls and all those jail cells. And I think it looks really, really good. But to continue out that, I really want to make sure that we get a handle on what we're doing over here in the Rancor Pit. So today we're going to be building out those cave walls and hopefully finishing up at least half of it. I want to do the full side, but we're going to see how this goes, see how long it takes, because I know these rocks are not easy to build the way I build them. They're just, I, I want to find a new technique in the future with Hoth. I've got some other ideas, but hopefully this should go pretty smoothly and it will uh, end up completing this area so we can of course get back to building up our walls then building the mountain and then Java's palace itself but that's what we're going to be doing today so i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into that okay so the hardest thing we're going to be facing today is Java's palace is not as open as it used to be we used to be able to get our hands really deep in here but now we got this wall here this wall here and everything is starting to come a little more solidified. So it's not gonna be as easy to get into places like where I'd wanna go. The, the next challenge is really gonna be kinda getting that rock shape that I'm looking for. I wasn't too happy with how this turned out. So I wanted to do a little nicer than this. I wanted to do something more like we have going on over here on the, uh, the crate Dragon scene from The Mandalorian where it's really nice and smooth but we don't have any of these big ugly rock pieces as people like to call them. So we're gonna have to do it more brick built. So that's gonna be another challenge. And the final challenge is we gotta keep it open enough to where you can see the Rancor through the front clear plastic up here. So hopefully we can all, I can take all those and kind of combine them together and make something good enough or hopefully really good for this area. But anyway, I'm gonna kinda start building out the bottom section here and then I'll come back to you guys in just a sec. Okay guys, so I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I've developed a little bit of the uh, interior of the Rancor Pit and one of the things that I realized is that it's really not easy to build these corners. I said that last episode or an episode, I think it was episode two of the series of building the Rancor Pit or building Jabba's Palace, that this part was hard. This part is going to be definitely not easy at all. It's, it's just a challenge to get those, those angles in there. But I do have a leaky with me, and I did want... I know he hasn't commented on Jabba's Palace in quite a while since we've kind of built up this part. So I, I do have a question for you, Leaky. How do you, how do you think it's going so far? Oh, I really like it. I like... Um, you know I've always liked your mountain building techniques and the inside of the Rancor Pit is looking pretty cool. And um, I, I gave a couple of comments more downstream, I don't know how much we can see downstream, but, but it, as you know, I was the guy that built the Robo Room, or the Robo Torture Room. But um, I like, and I really like what you're doing with the hallways too. But the Rancor Pit, very cool. And actually, I think I'm the one that put that skeleton head there. So that's my contribution. Yes, if you see down there, there is a skeleton head that Leaky had contributed to it. He also added in some skeletal bones right here as well. And I added this little, it's a, kind of a little uh, container full of bones. I'm assuming that might be to, I don't know. Yeah, those are props. Jabba's gotta keep his, his uh, Rancor pit sufficiently stocked with bones. Ah, Yeah, gotcha. and the Rancor tends to eat them. So he's got oh, when they drop him in there, it's not as scary if there's not as gotcha. much bones laying about. So this is a bo bone storage closet. Yes. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Excellent. All right, well, guys, there's not much I can do but but continue to build this out. I, I know it's kind of a pain to show you, but like I said, it's been challenging this corner, but we'll see where we'll go. It's going to be fun. I'll uh, 
get back to you guys after we're done building a little bit more. Okay guys, so there you have it. I finally finished that wall of the Rancor Pit, and I know that brick trellis is a little bit in the way there, but as you can see, I added in a lot of cool things. I did end up finding one of those big ugly rock pieces, which I really think adds a lot there. And this corner isn't that great. There's some gaps in there, as you can see, but once we get this covered up, you'll never be able to tell, because you'll be looking down through this glass. So I know it doesn't look too great up close, but for our purposes, for now, it's just gonna have to do. And it will be, uh, once this is solidified up here, everything will be pushed together. It will be a lot nicer. It's a little janky as of late, but with the pieces and the constraints that we had, that's what we had to do, unfortunately. But I think it's looking really good, and it really adds a lot to the final, to the, to the build here, because it's really starting to kind of finish up the basement, which is gonna be really, really good because then finally we can move up into Jabba's Palace, which sits on top. Which, speaking of which, I'm gonna go get that and we're gonna put it on top and see how it looks. Okay, so there we have it. As you can see, it kind of encumulates the uh, Rancor Pit and actually starting to look like Jabba's Palace has some support where it doesn't really need that support. That's not supporting anything. It's those four pillars that actually hold it up that are doing all of the uh, heavy lifting here. But in the future, we're gonna have these smooth tiles all along the top of that. And there's going to be some terrain tiles that we can take off and kind of get to see the inside of here. But anyway, we got some cool stuff coming in the future. Just wait. There's some really cool things on the horizon, definitely with this build and with the rest of Tatooine. But anyway, that's actually gonna do it for this episode of Low Bricks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave us a like, give us a comment, subscribe if you wanna see more of this stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>